<laughs> How's everybody feeling? Really good. Good. Feeling good? Um, you know, I've been talking to a lot of people and uh, they want certain things, whatever it is. It could be uh, fighting, it could be opening a gym, it could be starting a t-shirt company. Um, a lot of people kind of treat me like I got lucky, you know, eight gyms, 10 businesses total, you know, created uh, kind of like my son, Andy Bulmore. He was living at his mom's garage, created a gym, his family of three, his wife and him. The whole operation is supported by businesses that we created. Um, Ron Turner, his whole family, same thing. My whole family, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law. Um, some guys, like Mike, Andy, some other coaches, you know, it helps pay. But there was no luck at all. It was all hard work and effort. And I think effort is something that's underutilized and completely neglected. You know, you can wish in one hand and you can shit in the other hand and which one do you think is gonna fill up quicker? You know, hoping and wishing is never a good strategy for success. It's a fucking terrible strategy. It literally, luck and good fortune are created by effort, passion, hard work, preparation, uh, taking advantage of opportunities. You know, um, the path to a UFC belt, right? We'll just use this as an analogy. It's you have to win all the fights that you were supposed to win. All the fights that you're supposed to win, you have to win them. If you lose any of them, you're not gonna win a belt. Then you're gonna have to win about 80% of the pick'ems where like, fuck man, these guys are evenly matched. The line in Vegas is pretty much a wash. A dollar this way moves a dollar that way. You gotta win about 80% of those fights. And then you've gotta win some fights that you were supposed to 100% lose. You gotta shock the world, right? So luck is part of it. You gotta be lucky. But success literally comes down to preparation, opportunity, and audacity. You know, if you're preparing, you're gonna be willing to take opportunities. Without audacity, you're never gonna believe that you can do it, you know? So never, ever, ever look at somebody who's successful and say they were lucky and never blame somebody for your failures <coughs> because you're not grinding hard enough, okay? Effort, preparation, it's all like combined. And I, I, I listen to a lot of people, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, and I'm like, cool. Coach, how come you don't help me? How come you don't support me? And it's like, I'm up before you. I park four blocks away from the gym in downtown so I don't have to pay, and I have the money to pay. And I don't pay for parking. And then I watch some of you guys that are claiming to be hungry and you're fucking parking out front and you're paying six bucks for parking. You know, it just doesn't make any sense to me, man. Um, get onto the goals again. Go home, cut some subscriptions. Cut all your subscriptions. Dom, get rid of your browser's account. Just cancel that right away. That's sacred, bro. You can't eat the money you want. Oh, for I, I, I can't condone that. <laughs> <laughs> You but it, you what, what I, really what I want for you guys to do is I want you to cancel DirecTV. I want you to cancel Dish Network. I want you to cancel the NFL package. I want you to cancel any kind of little 999 websites you have. Get rid of those. The only subscription you guys should have is right here. That's it. Everything's gotta be a value add and not a subtraction from your life. Anything that's sucking up your time and you're really not getting anything out of it, that's just a fucking waste. That's what they want, okay? So let's, let's fucking never look at somebody and say, oh, they're lucky. Look at it like, fuck, they put in the effort. You know, DeWell went and opened his own business, Ageless Cryotherapy, and he's been gone for two years because he's been working, you know? Um, I've taken DeWell with me to Orange County just so he can see how, uh, how hard it is to create a gym. Ask him, how, how, how hard do I work, DeWell? All day. All day, nonstop phone calls, nonstop fucking meetings, nonstop. I was up at seven in the morning this morning, you know? 
Fucking right, right? That was the second appointment. <laughs> yeah, you were the second appointment at Starbucks. My second nitro oh, cold brew. Just yeah. fucking crushing it. I'm gonna the caddy. Yeah. What's that dumbass saying that everybody says? Like, the universe conspires to help the ones that, that try hard or some shit like that? Like, it's, it's like the, the fucking molecules. The fucking, they all go, oh, you're really trying. Let's do it. And don't be afraid of failure. Failure's fucking awesome, man. Failure is what propels you to success. You know, keep failing. Fail, go, go out tomorrow and fail, okay? I fucking love you guys, man. This is fucking amazing. I can't believe you guys pay me to do this shit. It's fucking wild. Anybody have any questions? All right, let's get the fuck out of here. One, two. I don't mind not paying you to do this shit.